Well, we are in the last few days of Women's History Month, and one subject that may often get overlooked, women struggling with their menopause symptoms. Director of uh, Patient Education at Life Med Institute, Eric Rittenmeyer, also a motivational speaker, wrote a book about this. He's joining us this morning with his newest book and all the resources available to women. All right. Elephant in the room right now, right? You and I talking about this menopause book. You're a Marine, motivational speaker. You work at Life Med, and you're like, I'm going to write a book called The Menopausal Marine, <laughs> and you're going to put that out. Your expertise, you're not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. So, wh what are we getting when we get this book? You are getting two years worth of extensive research on yeah. a topic that no one gets access to. This whole thing with menopause, with hormone imbalances, ladies have no resource for it. Every single woman goes through menopause and there's right. no place to go to get education. Women, women do a very good job though, medically, a lot better than guys do, talking about their medical needs, sharing it. I mean, just look at breast cancer alone. You'd think that was the highest uh, cancer that we have in the world, but it's not. It's just they are so good at talking about it and sharing it and getting other women involved. But when you compare that with menopause and what goes on here, I mean, I remember my mother joking, she's going through her own private summers. That was her joke with it. That would go, but that was it. Yeah. Another thing they're very good at, Tom, is just sucking it up and getting the job done, gotcha. right? As it relates to these kinds of things, especially with menopause, it's extremely difficult and it's unfair for them to have to suck it up. There should be information on it. There should be education on it. So when they go to their doctors, they can walk in there armed with information to make a decision in combination with their medical provider, not 100% on what they say. Okay. This is what I've educated myself on. This is what this book was all about. Symptoms are long spread and they last a long time. And we're talking, some, for some women, it could be years that they're dealing with these things. This book, though, you're helping them get, uh, get is it for women? Is it for couples? Because, hey, uh, I I'm married and my wife is uh, coming up pretty close to this dealing with menopause so does this help me as well it's for anyone who has a woman in their life it's absolutely okay. for ladies specifically to state okay this is what you're gonna go through 43 is average age for what's called perimenopause about 85 percent of women will exhibit what's called vasomotor symptoms hot flashes night sweats they can last seven to ten years 51 is average age for menopause yeah. which is defined as 12 consecutive months of no menstrual cycle during that time there can be lots of craziness happening with ladies there's a long list of symptoms if the ladies know what they're going through, understand what they're going through, and the men in their lives also understand, yep. they can recognize that, hey, as a husband, as a boyfriend, as a son, I need to provide support to my mom, to my wife, because unfortunately, everywhere they go to try to find support, they're not going to get it. Not a big book. It's not long. So it's something like, okay, you pick this up and you can be done in a couple hours reading through this and just getting some knowledge and getting the talking points to be able to share that. Um, and also, and so you're not medical, but you talk about, hey, this is the way to approach and find some way that's medical that can answer the other questions. I absolutely provide 0.0 okay. medical advice. My whole objective yeah. here is to educate, not to provide medical advice. It's to arm women with information they need to make decisions in conjunction with their providers. Uh, working at Life Med, motivational Marine himself, and this is the Menopausal Marine, and you can get this book now, uh, Amazon, anywhere you can get books. I mean, you're finding it around. So, yes, sir. Eric Rittmeyer, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Looking forward to reading it. I know my daughter and my wife have both worked on reading this book. So, yeah, thank you very much. All right, in fact, let's go over to meteorologist Amy Aronson. Rain, Amy, and it's not a great day when we start talking about